Sorry, you guys. Uh, Tal's feeling a little shy. <laughs> uh, no, um, first, before anything, I want to thank Izzy, Kez, and the whole Artwatch team for inviting me to do this uh, video um, on what I, uh, on my feelings on citizen science with, with Inda. And um, so, basically, um, I never saw myself as a scientist in my undergrads. In my postgrad, I'm doing demonstrating in the lab. I just don't feel like that role, scientist. It just doesn't agree with me. I just like, Ugh, I don't know. I don't feel like a scientist. I don't feel qualified enough. <laughs> um, but um, when I'm when I put citizen in front of that, when I start my work in Emmy Vale, no problem. Hello, everyone uh, in Earthwatch and Izzy. How are you doing? Um, thanks for connecting, Izzy, and asking me to say a few words in relation to citizen science. And, uh, you know, just to introduce myself, uh, my name is Enda Fields. I live in Emmyville in County Monaghan, in the Republic of Ireland. And uh, basically, I just want to say a few words in connection like, with citizen science and why I got involved in it and uh, what I do, what I try to do, I suppose. Uh, and what I hope to do into the future. So just to begin by saying that, you know, why I got involved in community science was, was relatively simple and straightforward. I am a keen keen angler, keen angler, keen environmentalist, I suppose. I love nature. I, you know, love going out, you know, walking the rivers, fishing, uh, you know, walking around my local lake. You know, I'm involved uh, in Emmyville Teddy Town, a local uh, group. Uh, and what we really do is basically clean up, you know, other people's rubbish, uh, I suppose, uh, from, you know, from the environment, in the environment, trying to keep the environment clean and tidy. So I've been involved a long time from a community aspect, uh, cleaning up the local rivers and all sorts of rubbish and, you know, making people aware, you know, throw it into the bin, take it home with you, put it in your own bin, that type of thing. But, uh, you know, it's continuing to this day so like it could be at this about 20 or over 20 years and uh, you know why I love doing it is I suppose it gives me a sense of pride in my own local community and I'm working with other community activists uh, trying to clean up the area so we're here for a short period of time and we have a responsibility to pass it on to the next generation uh, so like, other you know things I've been doing with with community science is collecting data, you know, nit nitrate, phosphate, you know, uh, information coming from the river, like to see how healthy it is, and to then highlight that to, you know, uh, academ academic uh, researchers and c local county council, and they can then take further action and hopefully clean up, uh, sort sort out where the, where the source is coming from. So that takes time, unfortunately, it takes it takes a lot of time in some cases to to to, to find out where where the problem. Is originating from, and uh, it can be frustrating at times, uh, not getting any answers, and you know you can't take it out, you can't take the whole into your own hands. So you know it does take years sometimes to get things sorted. But from an environmental as as aspect of it, uh, you know everybody should keep trying. I uh, suppose the impact of of that in the own community has been positive in the sense of that people are starting to help out and starting to get involved in cleaning up the area and trying to, you know, you know things like pollution, you know, if you see pollution or see see any, uh, you know, unlawful activities that they contact our local group and build Teddy Town and we can try to take action, you know, through, uh, in, in by, by, by uh, contacting the county council, etc. So, this is very brief, there's only a few minutes I know and look, uh, I have a Facebook page, uh, Amelia River, River Citizen Science. If anybody would like to join it, just you know, Google you know, uh, MEVL uh, River Citizen Science project, and you know, you can join in and we can have a chat then. So, bye for now. Slán. I just I brought you down here to show you the fencing that I done here to restrict stream access completely in this field. This is a 
what I'm hoping will be a biodiversity meadow down the line. It's a rough field. I need to do a lot of work on it. But that's what I'm hoping it will be down the line. And the farm water quality testing i done has certainly made me more aware of my farm water management practices, how I need to improve, and the effects that cattle grazing and agricultural practices have on my water quality on the farm. Citizen science is so, so important. I've stressed that a lot and I'm going to stress it more in my conclusion. Um, at a local, national and global level, citizen science is fundamental to turning the tide when we think, again, when we think about our global environmental, biodiversity and climate crisis. It's going to take a world of citizen scientists to turn the tide. That's what I fundamentally believe. Local community volunteers getting involved, like Ind and Leo and the fantastic work they're doing in Imi Vale, or maybe even the mud, me walking through muddy rivers here. <laughs> um, but it's going to take a collective effort to help turn the tide and improve our environment for the better and ensure that there's still an environment to care for for future generations. And organisations like Artwatch, DCU Water Institute, and DKIT Science before that, and supporting me and Inda with our monthly water testing in Imi Vale that's all going to be part of the process researchers and community volunteers working together to improve our environment for the better